Hey everybody, it's Brian. This is our 11th C++ video. Today we're going to be discussing flow control, specifically the if statement and the switch statement. Okay, let's just make a variable called i, and let's say uh, if i equals 0, then c out yes and l. Now, what is going on here? We have our if statement, and if you're coming from other programming languages, which you should be, you understand what an if statement does. For those of you that don't, I'm going to go over it real quick. If, and then you have an expression, and you're evaluating this expression, i equals zero. If i equals zero, then run this code. If it doesn't, it just jumps right over and ignores it. Now, you notice that there's two equal signs. If you're coming from like a Java or a C Sharp, you understand this concept. Visual Basic users might find this a little bit confusing. If you have just one equal sign, you're actually assigning the value. So let's say 2. If i equals 2, see out. We know i equals 0, and here we're saying if i equals 2. I'm going to show you how it assigns it. See how it says yes, but we know that it was 0. What we've done is we've actually assigned i with the number 2. We can prove that by see out i and L. This is just a common programming mistake people make when they're entering a language like C++. You can see how it's printing the number 2. So we've actually assigned it. So what you need to do is do the equality operator or two equal signs. It'll jump over it and sure enough there's 0 and it didn't print yes. So let's get rid of that. That's the basic um, if statement. The more complex version has literally a block of code where you can do multiple things. And we'll just say happy land. So let's just set the is it equals zero. And it prints out yes, happy land. So you can see you can get much more uh, control and do many actions. What you can also do is an else. Now, how you read this is if i equals 0, then execute this, else execute this. So let's just cut out happy land here. And put no. And let's set this to something we know it's not going to be. So 99. Sure enough, prints no. That is basic flow control and the foundations of polymorphic algorithms right there is the if statement. Now if statements can also be nestled. In other words, you can say if i is less than 5, then, and let's actually say if i is greater than 1, whoops. So we're going to say if i is greater than 1, yes. And if it's less than 5, we're going to say less than 5. And let's actually set this to a number we know it's going to trigger. So we have i equals 3, so we're going to say if i is greater than 1, which it is, it'll execute this code block. Now inside we have another block that says if i is less than 5, execute this. And you can even throw an else in there. say more than five. So let's run this and see what happens. It says yes, less than five. As you can see, our three is in our yes block and it is less than five. Now let's say oh, six. What do you think is going to happen here? Well if you guessed it's going to print yes and more than five, you get a gold star for the day. And there we go, more than five. That is the if statement in a nutshell. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.